one of my favorite moves, and I've made some videos about it, is this. Turning with in-spins on a wall plane. Eee. So fluid, so graceful. Yay, I like it. The anti-spin correlate, it would be turning the other way with four pedal anti-spin. Um, and I find that much, much harder. Uh, here I'll show you what it looks like when I try to do it. It isn't very graceful yet. And that's about as good at it as I am now. Now it could be, I mean, the easier thing would be doing not on a wall plane or I'm just shifting planes. Way easier. Boop, 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 boop. But this is the kind of move where when I try to do it on a wall plane, and that means that the poi are staying on this plane, and I'm turning my ear, then the back of my head to the poi, then my other ear then facing it, that takes me through sort of this mind gym where I have to know what the player are doing behind my back as it switches from clockwise to counterclockwise, and that's really hard. And sometimes when I encounter things like that, I think, you know what, that's a blind spot, and I bet if I get some light into that blind spot, something's gonna open up with my ability to improv and move freely. And I set out to do that a long time ago. Like this is a move that 15 years ago, I encountered it. I mean, I came up with that idea on my own. Oof, uh, oof, uh, oof. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna dominate that. I'm gonna get really good at that. Uh, and I didn't. <laughs> I never got super fluid with it. Um, but I'm circling back to it now and I'm inviting you to try it with me. Uh, the warning is it's not easy on the shoulders. So uh, if you're gonna try to learn this, err on the side of relaxing rather than trying to get everything perfect and spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to make sure your shoulders are not uh, going into super crazy, weird, extreme positions. Easier said than done. So for me, that's gonna look like doing a lot of one play at a time as I try to figure out what that blind spot is and how I can relax through it. Uh, then the other arm and then uh, putting them together. Um, so I invite you to explore that. Uh, I will come back to this as I get better at it um, and with my ideas of how to polish it and possibly ideas of what opens up upon getting fluid with this. Uh, if you're learning this, definitely learn the in-spin first um, before you try the anti-spin. Um, in both cases, start with lots of circles. Really take your time. Same with the anti-spin. At first, do 10 circles, whatever. The planes are gonna be really hard at first. And then eventually, it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could also do four circle versions, um, and that would be where each, each poi makes five pedals, um, one pointing up, one pointing down. Uh, we'll come back to all of that. I, uh, I had a good night practicing last night, so I've got some cool stuff that I'm going to be working on. Uh, let me know if that's interesting. Uh, yeah, and we'll proceed into the summer of poi as crazy stuff happens in the world that all seems very important, but we've got to move and flow. Mm -hmm.